my name is Manish. I am from Rishikesh. And I'm born and brought up in Rishikesh and uh, I've been learning yoga since 2002 and been teaching yoga from 2004 till now and I hope more for further as well. So that's what I've been doing in yoga. I'm born and brought up in Rishikesh so my family, my father is a doctor, he's an Ayurvedic doctor and my mother is a naturopathist. So after my schooling I started uh, doing uh, my father put me in yoga school, so it was a shock for me that it was not actually I wanted to do yoga, but my father put me in a school, so I had to learn the yoga. I did one year diploma in yoga and naturopathic science. I finished my diploma, then people came to me and asked about their diseases, and because I didn't study so much, so I didn't know so much things about yoga and the benefits. So then I realized that I need to learn a little bit things because uh, everybody's coming with me expectations so I started to go with my teacher which is Mr. Bhani I went to him and started doing some classes with him and started learning about yoga then slowly my interest started coming into yoga classes and started to see how it's getting the benefit for all the patients where we were teaching and all the students then after that uh, I planned okay I will do one more year diploma in yoga and holistic science so I I did one year diploma again in yoga and holistic science and I was teaching on the side the asana class in Parmat Niketan for two years and I've been teaching to American students who used to come to India so I I started doing classes for them and then I realized that I need to learn more then after that I did two years deep, uh, master's degree in yoga from the government university uh, and then I left then I find job outside India then I went to Maldives I taught there in a hotel uh, for two years almost and then I left from there I went to Caribbean I teach yoga there for three years and then I returned back to Rishikesh because that's what I want always wanted to back in Rishikesh and want to open my own yoga school so then I came back and I taught yoga and started this yoga school, Yoga Nandham. And since then we are working for the school and we are trying to make it a more better place for everyone. Why did you decide to set up Yoga Nandham? Uh, because uh, uh, when we, two years back, three years back when I came on vacation to India and I see this because I used to come in India and I used to go to different schools for giving lectures on yoga or going some classes for other schools then I realized that every school is totally commercialized they are not teaching what it should be taught to the students properly because it was they are, they are trying to teach a lot of things but uh, they are not telling the base either they are teaching only Hatha or they are teaching only Vinyasa or teaching only Ayangar but they are not focusing on overall development complete like when a person is coming to them they he's coming or she's coming with an expectation to learn about yoga and if she's learning only one aspect of yoga she's not or uh, the person is not getting the complete so i decided okay what when i will be opening the school i will be making a school which will be teaching only yoga not hatha or astanga and then i'll let the student decide what he wants to study further and make uh, make a thing that I want to be a Hatha Yoga teacher or an Astanga because these are the styles of doing asanas and making it's not only the yoga yoga is to make yourself happy and to be happy with people to be more positive in your life and second reason was that there were so many schools that uh, uh, a student is learning with you and he learned only for a month or two months and he starts his own school so this was too much uh, wrong information was going to the students it was not going the right information or because if a student hasn't studied a lot, how can he explain a lot of things? So that was uh, two things which came into my mind. And also when I used to see the books of all the school, it was all same. There is no changes. Teachers hasn't put their own effort. So I thought, okay, when I will open school, I will not do these mistakes. And that made me more enthusiastic. Okay, I should come back and do as uh, teach as much as I know, not just... Uh, full flesh just what I know just to explain that so that's what I then when I decided okay I will open my school
And how, how has yoga improved your life? How does it help yes. you with yoga? Life? Yoga changed my life totally. Uh, I was one of the angriest people. Uh, I used to get angry on every small things in my life from childhood. I was a very, very angry person. Um, small thing, bang the door, not happy with family, always complaining about things. Uh, some of the parties still now, but I try to improve them all the time. But, uh, uh, but when I started doing yoga, I see that my body changed. I was a fat guy, so I reduced my weight, which was a plus. Then my body weight became still which was always increasing so it got still and i got patient i got uh, i used to listen things more observe people i started feeling people which i which i felt was very nice like I, if i talk to someone i feel the person what actually he wants so that was good and then when i started teaching with my teacher to the patients they were all suffering from different diseases so when I see the improvement, that provided me the happiness. And then I started feeling the happiness in giving. But I know if I can help the other person in any manner, like it's not always monetary, it's maybe my time, my uh, knowledge which I learned from my teachers, from my parents, from my childhood, whichever culture has. So to provide that, to make them happy or to make their life easy, that was the goal and that made me more happier and that's what uh, it made my life change completely and my thinking completely changed and that's it made me whole change so that's all I think and do you see the changes in your students and in your the people that you teach you see the the, the changes in their lives as well yes yoga, of course, yoga helps of course. Them. if, if uh, look, people have a lot of expectations all the time so they are always unhappy because of expectations. Expectations, sorry, and they know that uh, these expectations are not going to fulfill all the time. They know that from inside, but it's human nature that we always want more and more. So when, as a yoga teacher, it's easy when you understand, you make them understand that this is the reality, because they don't want to accept their reality themselves. They want if anybody else tell them that this is reality and this will happen if you will do this so we don't show them the end product we just explain them if you will do this you will get this its choice is yours so then they realize that it's it's really the us our expectation which we have to minimize and once they expect when their expectation gets minimized they always become happy yep. so it's uh, it's not that we I, I teach something unique just we tell the thing which people know but they don't put importance on that so that's what we teach basically to to people to understand themselves and once they understand themselves everything becomes happy and everything is, is happy and do you think there are a lot of misconceptions these days about what yoga is that the, the, the traditional yoga has become um, changed by the Western ideas yes uh, Yoga has been changing throughout the start till now. It's all modifications of yoga. Like now in Western culture, when we ask any Westerner what is yoga, he will ask, Oh, Astanga Vinyasa, Hatha, Ayangar, Vikram, Rope, uh, Trick, Trika Yoga, Kundalini Yoga. Because they have been always learning yoga as an exercise. They have never thought yoga as a lifestyle. And second misconception which Westerners have is always that yoga is representing Hindu culture. Actually it is not. It's a lifestyle. It's a, li it's, it, it's a religion itself you can say. Which teaches you to be good and happy. Without, you can believe in anything. You can believe in yourself. So it's a part of karma yoga. So when you talk about yoga, it has a lot of things in it. And Westerner people are only thinking yoga as an exercise, maximum meditation or prana. That's, that's the three things they know about yoga. But uh, when we come to India, then you realize that it's more about understanding about disciplines, rules in your life, uh, the positivity in yourself, to make yourself contained inside yourself, to understand yourself, to, be, to find the happiness in other person. Mm -hmm. That all things are learned when you come and you understand the whole philosophy of yoga.
So that's what I think is yeah. all about. So slightly different question. Yes. You're obviously from India. What yeah. what three words would you use to describe India? Uh, India is a, a culture, loving, and uh, emotional. <laughs> yes, I think emotional is very important. <coughs> Um, what is what's your happiest memory? Uh, happiest memory? There are many happy memory. Uh, actually, uh, all are happy moments. It's every moment is very special. So it's uh, nothing to stress. But I, when I had my son, that was happy moment. Uh, when I got married, it was also happy moment. Uh, when uh, my father, when when I saw a lady, I remember yeah, she was suffering from arthritis, total rheumatic arthritis, very young girl, she, after her marriage she got uh, rheumatic arthritis. She was in such a bad condition that uh, she couldn't even walk and go to washrooms. You know. So when she did yoga with us, so people used to carry her and bring in yoga class because we pushed her to come in yoga class. And when in a month she gradually improved herself. So the happiness in herself, when we, I used to see her, that. She is so happy that she can walk herself, slowly, slowly, but she could walk herself. She could go to do all the things which she was able to do before. So that uh, always used to help uh, give me a happiness that uh, at least because I pushed her and I worked with her for a month, she is now in this level. So that was one of the happy moments, I think, yeah. which changed also my life a little bit that uh, I can do good for people. So that was one of the What's your idea of a perfect day? You could spend the day however you like. Yes, happy day, perfect day is uh, when you do what you want to do. If you want to go and walk, you go walk. If you want to eat and sleep, you eat sleep. So whatever your heart says, you do that. That's the happy day. Uh, yeah, and that's that's I, what I think is happy day is all yeah. about. Anything else?